G'day everybody. On the chat with Matt tonight is Dominique Leong Song. G'day Dominique, how are you going today? I'm good, thank you. Uh, well, thanks for being a part of the uh, chat today. Uh, I've got your book, Fantastic Ways for Brighter Days, which is a book on hilarious jokes, which I just, I love the fact that you have put out a book that's, um, especially during COVID and the lockdowns and everyone's being uh, really stressed at the moment, it's real fun to have something where you can just have a bit of a giggle. It's harmless and um, yeah, it's, it's a really, really good read. So thank you very much for that. What made you write this book? From a New Year's resolution. Okay. I committed to write one joke a day for 365 days. So it, be, it uh, caught on until I, I was able to come with, with 365 jokes. That's amazing. So that's a that's a good commitment, and that's a good uh, message for for any writer of any genre that, that you need to have that mm -hmm. commitment to say, okay, writing is a business, and you need to be able to say, well, I'm going to schedule a portion of my time every day to do some sort of writing, whether it's a, a time limit like an hour a day, or whether it's a word limit like five hundred or a thousand words a day. So that's that's an excellent piece of uh, advice mm -hmm. for anyone who's listening in. What was the Ooh. biggest challenge that you found when it came to writing your book? Oh, it was the editing. I realized this is something I cannot do alone. Okay. I needed the uh, support by another editor. Again, another important piece of advice. So you actually paid for someone to edit your work? But it comes as a package from my mentor. Yep. And part of, part of the uh, payment included a service from the in-house editor. Yeah. Uh, but that's, that is a very important uh, feature when it comes to writing. A lot of new writers make the mistake, and I've done it myself when I first started out, is writing and then thinking you've got it all nailed and not having it professionally edited um, because you, there's always syntax or grammar or there's always mistakes that slip through um, and it needs to be spot on and professional. So it is worth paying that little bit of money to get your book professionally edited. Mm -hmm. yeah. What is the mm, one piece of advice that you think you would give someone who's just starting out as a writer? I used to call it write it down, but now I think it was better to say write a journal. Write a journal. Yep. About write it down as an advice. I have a video in my uh, website, in ga my gallery of videos. Yep. There's one there that I made the uh, public in YouTube. Oh, very good. Uh, and I'll have those links in the in the description of this um, uh, YouTube video as well. So anyone wants to go on to Dominique's website, um, there'll also be a link to her newsletter. So um, tell us about your newsletter. Mm. It's a collection of 10 things that I like and I send this once a month. Excellent. It's about five things that uh, coming from other people and five things that come from me. Excellent. So we'll have to make sure that people get on that link and they sign up and get subscribed to your newsletter. Mm, that would be wonderful. Okay. So is there anything new with Dominique? Is there any upcoming projects that you can talk about or is there any new books that we can be keeping an eye out for? Oh, I would be relieving, uh, sorry, um, would be sending alerts to those who subscribe to my uh, VIP club. VIP club, there you have it. It involves, it involves a monthly uh, newsletter and bi-monthly blogging and other thing, other announcements that have to be made. It will be sent to the uh, VIP club member. Okay, so you've got to get on board and become a VIP for Dominique. Um, and then you'll get, yeah. you will stay in the loop and be kept up to date. So just in closing, I really thought this book was uh, hilarious and like I said, so timely with what's going on in the world. Um, so if you get a chance, people, check out um, Fantastic Ways for Brighter Days by Dominique. And um, thank you so much, Dominique, for spending the time to have a chat with us today. Thank you for having me, Matt. Okay. See you next time. See you. 
G'day guys, uh, thanks for watching the uh, interview with Dominique Leon Song. Uh, it was a fairly short discussion tonight, but there were three very important aspects that I just wanted to um, reiterate and, and just remind people about. Some of the things that Dominique spoke about. One of the things was that she had set a goal to write one joke every day for 365 days. Now that sounds fairly easy, I suppose, but that commitment to saying, Every day I'm going to sit down and come up with an idea or a concept, in her case it was a joke, is a very important practice uh, for writers. If you're a children's book writer or if you're um, writing chapters books or middle grade books or even young adult or adult books, the idea that you get a routine and you stick to it as best as you can, life happens, we understand that. Um, but as best as you can, you stick to that routine. You say, I'm going to write 500 words today or I'm going to write 1,000 words today or between 10 and 11 o'clock every day, that's when I come up with my ideas or that's when I brainstorm or that's when I'm going to write out um, some of my story. So that routine is a critical skill for a writer to have and to nurture. The other thing that she mentioned was a journal. Now, it doesn't have to be a journal. It can be a notebook. It can be um, pen and paper. I um, have a little tiny, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, moleskin uh, book and a pencil. Um, but if you're a technical, you can have digital recorders or use your phone. I've tended to use my phone a bit now as well. Because when you're out and about, and especially if you're engaging with people, you're talking with kids, you're talking with parents, you're talking with schools, ideas come. Sometimes they come when I'm going for a walk. A good long walk usually frees up the brain and I come up with some really great ideas for stories. If you go, oh, I'll wait till I get home and then I'll follow that up, it's forgotten by the time you got home or you've come up with another idea that's overridden the first one. The best idea is to have something to record it while, it, while the um, memory is hot and while the idea is nice and new and fresh in your brain, write it down and record it. Um, and the third piece of advice was editing. And I have fallen into this trap myself, so I can attest to it. You need to spend the money and invest in getting your stuff edited professionally. Um, with children's books, a lot of the time the text is fairly small, so it doesn't cost a lot. When you get up into your middle grade books and into your young adult and your adult books, those get up into 100,000 words and you might be spending $1,500, $2,000, $2,500 to edit your book, but it's a critical skill. The professionals spend years and years and years honing that skill um, and it's not something that I can do. I will have it outsourced and get it done. So I strongly recommend that if you are going to do this professionally, spend the money and get it edited professionally. Okay guys, well that's it for uh, tonight's little chat. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, click on the subscribe button, uh, click on the like button, and I'll, I'll see you next time for the next exciting interview with somebody else who wants to have a chat with Matt. Thanks guys.